Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel y'all, how are you? It's so good to have you back. I am so excited to have all of you guys here with me. Welcome to another pick a card. We are going to go ahead and do a pick a card based on love messages from your person. This is a no contact, okay? Yes. Yes. Listen my loves, I am feeling... I'm really excited about the next chapter of my life. I'm, I'm moving some things around. I'm getting ready for a new shift. So I hope all of you are also getting ready for a new um, endeavor here. Collectively, I do see that we are moving in the right direction. So listen, my loves, listen, what's really going on? Please comment below, you guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know my videos are uploaded. I have all my links below if you guys would like to uh, book a personal. I do have mediumship-based readings. I'm currently offering past life readings as well. I have new services up, so please be a part of that. I love you. Yes. Listen, I'm so happy, you guys. I also made some um, fresh cards here on my own. Okay, we're going to take it way back. But um, I had a lot of fun doing this, so I hope it helps. I hope it helps channel messages from your person. Also, my loves, please don't forget to share my content if you're interested. Okay, yes. I would love your support, and if you are here and present and would like to just tune into the audio, if there's any kind of triggering, you guys, I know some of you have been triggered about me being in a car, so if that's triggering you and you guys would like to just listen, then you can just listen. Please put in some headphones. It's no concern. Um, I'm here to flow with you, okay? Perfect. So... Um, also, you guys, if you are new to my channel, I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with a channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient. I am a medium. And I do offer mediumship-based readings. All that information is priced down below. And if you are feeling generous and would like to donate to the channel, I do have my Amazon wish list, my loves, I have my PayPal, I have my Indie Deck wish list, and I have my Cash App, okay? Listen, you guys, I'm just grateful. Um, I'm so grateful. Where do I even begin for all of you who have donated a deck or if you have donated just a small amount or a large amount, whatever you have chosen to donate, okay? I'm really, really happy about that. So I also would like to just say, um, I am offering, again, I don't know if I said this already, you guys, I am offering complimentary healing sessions. So I really would like everybody to be a part of this, yes? I want everyone to experience a form of healing. I want everyone to be a part of this. Yes, you guys, yes. So please comment below. I want to hear from you. How are you feeling? How are you doing? I do have a painting here, you guys. Um, if you are not a part of my, um, my Instagram. So let's go ahead and do a clearing session, shall we? Let's start with the top of the head. This is a little bit different, you guys. It looks a little bit muddy, okay? But this is about, you know, lately I've been feeling the earth move. You guys, we're really working through, excuse me, a lot of our root chakra energy. So I've been noticing a lot of impurities in my life and I'm really embarking on something new and I feel collectively we're also really mirroring a lot of the things we're working on here. So the earth is calling us. Per usual, you do not have to be here. Please don't, don't worry if this is not for you. You can skip ahead. I do have my timestamps below. Let's start with the crown chakra. Bow your head a little bit. 
allergies are a little so it's like one of my quirky quirky paintings here that I love been something around the hair you guys even if you're a masculine okay there's something around hair right now there's something significant around weaving our future and our destiny there's been a lot of I'm having a vision of attachments while I clear you okay so my guides are really pointing out what is it that you are attaching yourself to during this time some of you are in karmic partnerships and you're waiting to break free from a lot of the the back and forth I am channeling that song Hate You by Mariah Carey especially our eyes I really want to clear our eyes before we start so please focus your eyes here and your third eye, okay? I feel like we've been really consuming specific energies that aren't the best for us. So this is going to clear it hopefully just a little bit. The nose. So I want you guys to kind of lean in, okay? You can close your eyes. You can focus on the colors. Comment below. I would like to know how you feel. Let's focus on the cheeks, you guys. Turn your head to the right just a little bit. The left. Find what side feels a little more needed here. The throat. Our burdens. If you have a father that has passed away, I am getting a lot of energy here around Father. The heart. Okay, this is going to be a tricky one. you're feeling okay with that one here peace wow <laughs> I love you I love you listen we're gonna be okay okay let's see what's going on with your person I will be doing a mediumship based reading you guys so I want you all to be a part of it that is my next pick of cards so please be patient Let's go ahead and get the decks up, shall we? So we have the first pile. We have the moon goddess tarot. The second is the goddess tarot. And the third is the moon crystal tarot. Yes. Think about something, you guys. I want you to think about a happy memory or a color and see what you're guided to. A 
Let's channel your person's messages to you. No contact, love, okay? Let's see what's happening here. Okay, my loves. Okay, you ready? I love it. <laughs> Listen, you and this person really have a good time together. Okay? Both you and your beloved, there's something about humor, which is why I was, you know, really smiling here. There is an energy here around laughing together, around joy, pile one. Leo, Sag, Aries, okay? Okay, let's see what else. What's going on with this connection here? Listen, a lot of you. Wow, I had to take a moment here. Whoa, this is intense. This love is not easy, you guys. Both of you are giving birth to new conditions around your lineage. So both of you are working through a major life cycle here. Okay. This is about your ancestors really holding up this connection, but your person right now, no contact. I'm getting a lot of unspoken words or they feel really, there's resentment here. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Pile one. So we have, excuse me, creativity and vitality. Eighth house, Pluto. Listen, my loves. Wow, you guys. The passion is really intense between you both, okay? Both of you guys really honor each other. Both of you feel incredibly in love with each other, but there's something very karmic here around family, number one. I'm also getting a push-pull around your personalities. Both of you guys would benefit from the love languages, you guys. The love languages is very important here. Your person is not speaking. I'm getting a lot of, I'm having a vision of, wow, yes, you guys. There's a storm here. There's a storm, you guys. It's threatening their foundation, okay? So this is what you're feeling here. You're reaching. A lot of you have been reaching for this person and you're wondering, do you still love me? Okay. Faith Evans, when he used to love me. Yes. <laughs> so let's see what else. You used to love me. Exactly. Stand up to the elements. Listen, for a lot of you, this person, they're really stuck in between two pillars. And I'm having a vision of their pillars. They're both crumbling, you guys. A lot of you are dealing with someone who has held a secret. Okay? More than anything, they're holding on to a major secret here, okay? The secret revolves around their entire foundation and you, okay? So the elements are opposing your connection right now. We have the air element, we have the fire element, we also have um, the water, we have the earth. Pluto is very straightforward, you guys. Just like Saturn, there is a disruption. There's a very deep disruption here in order to bring in something completely new, okay? This is about renewing. 
and bringing forth new life. But it doesn't come without a price. Both of you guys are working through major differences in regards to what was said, okay? There's something around communication here. Yeah? Let's see. We have inner calm and balance. You are this person's peace. Just like this, the breath of fresh air, you are this person's peace, okay? You bring them so much peace to their heart. And one second, you guys. You are this person's go-to. Both of you guys have a powerful telepathic connection. I'm also getting a very communicative energy. So there's something around the way both of you guys communicate. It really works for your love. It's fascinating. They're, they're teachers, they're leaders. I am getting an Aries here or a Libra. The storm is really coming in, you guys, and it's wiping out their foundation. They've been hiding something around. I am getting, for some of you, there's a tie here around a lifestyle. They have not wanted to discuss this with you, or there's a tie around some kind of contract here, you guys, a past contract or obligations. So let's see. What's going on here, pile one? Your love has aged. There's maturing here. I am channeling the number six. Okay, there's the number six here. This is about karma. This is also about life cycles for some of you. You have been so loyal to your beloved. A lot of you guys have been incredibly loyal to this person. And you're asking, you're wondering, where do we stand? Okay? A lot of you, you're asking your person, where do we stand? Listen, this connection feels intense. My spirit guides are showing me March. So something happened around March here that really threw both of you guys off last year. Let's get some messages, no contact. What do they want to say to you? Whoa, I'm getting a lot of energy around the heart. Okay, so there's a blocked heart chakra here. This person, they cannot, it feels as if they can't really open themselves up to you the way they want to. There's a red oak tree here, you guys. I'm having a vision of autumn here. The leaves are falling. There's a renewal and rebirth. This person did not tell you about a pregnancy for some of you. We have shadow work, major lessons, yes. Yes, you guys. This is exactly what I was feeling. Major lessons. You bring this person so much love. But the earth and their ancestors are really forcing them, okay? To mature. This is what Pluto does. It comes in with a disruption to really reconstruct a different life for them. This person, my loves, they are not on the right track or they are not really moving through their truth. Yes. Let's see, you guys. So we have you are mine, proposition of love rushing in. Baby, you should be mine again. Do you guys remember that? 
<laughs> yes, you should be mine. Listen. Yes, there's a lot of love here. I have to be very honest with you. Listen, I am having a vision of bamboo. I want you guys to work with bamboo to protect your energies. You and your partner have a lot of wealth or you have a lot of abundance here. People are evil eyeing your connection, so please protect your your foundation with bamboo, okay? This might also resonate with your ancestors. So this person is coming in with an offer. I can feel it, but it feels as if they're sinking. So there's quicksand here. They're trying to get out of this quicksand and they're reaching for the closest. They're reaching for what feels sturdy, like an anchor, okay? And you are their anchor and they know it. This person knows what's going on here. Messages from them. What do they want to say to you? Let's see. You are my person. Okay. What else? We have, can we be more than friends? A lot of you, this person knows. Okay. They know this is special. To listen, I am channeling a little bit of some sadness here. This person, there's some depression here, you guys. Oh my gosh, please pray for your beloved. Okay, they're going through something major in their life. So, general theme here they're going through something very major in their life here. This person, uh, they definitely message you or they contact you and you don't know. There's text messages, there's phone calls. It's always blocked is what my spirit guides are showing me. Let's see. We have the two of pentacles. Okay, my loves. So listen. Wow. The major theme here for both of you. You are mastering a major life cycle. When one person is up, the other person is down. Does that make sense? Yes. Wow. There's a duality here. This person likes to, um, they leave messages along your path. It's very sweet, okay? They leave messages or they leave uh, specific signs on your road or on your path so you can see. They're very creative with the way they approach you. A big part of why they haven't is because they know you are their mirror for some of you. They know you're their mirror. For others, they know that this requires a sacrifice. You guys, the Two of Pentacles is not easy. The bee totem here is a guide, okay? The bee is abundant and resilient, but it depends on your lineage and your ancestors. For me, it always is a warning of danger or severe. Um, it's always a warning for me of people who are uh, thieves or you know, people who steal money or abundance. So depending on your background, the bee will be symbolic for many things. Wow, you guys. This love. The way you guys balance this, I'm getting a lot of hot and cold. Some of you guys wrote this person a letter with the number six, six days ago, six weeks, excuse me, six weeks ago, or months. There's something about that letter that's very promising here, or it's important to look at, okay? So let's see here. We have the devil. So the current energies of your connection revolves around bringing 
balance to your karma you guys this is about bringing balance to your karma and also letting go of what has been restricting both of you the devil in reverse is very much about addictions it's about breaking free from negativity from power okay power that is not conducive for your connection There's something about the juggling act. This person really felt as if they could have you and someone else. I do see a third party here. For some, okay, not everyone. It could be family as well. A Sagittarius, a Leo, a Sag, excuse me, a, an Aries. Okay. So what else? Messages from your person. How are they feeling about you? So we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay. This person wants a connection. They want to initiate. Listen, for a lot of you, this person wants to, they want to bring something into balance. They feel as if they never gave to you or they were not able to give you what you gave them. Listen, around the third, I am getting news of a contract of work. This person wants to work with you. They are creative. Okay, both of you guys are entrepreneurs or you're doing something for a living that invites some form of... There's a birth here waiting to happen. There's destiny with this outline, you guys. There's an outline of flowers. Excuse me, an outline of flowers here. There's a gift of the lotus. This person feels as if, with the two of pentacles, I have to be very honest. There's a little bit of some arrogance here or an over-domineering energy of, I know I have you where I want you. I want to give to you, but it comes with a little bit of a price or it comes with something here. Okay? Wow. Let's see what else. Messages from them. A lot of you, there's a dynamic here. I have to be very honest for the feminine. If you are in need of something, whether it's financial, whether it's in terms of structure, Make sure it is balanced, you guys, okay? Make sure this is balanced only because your person is used to being in control. Your person really enjoys having the upper hand here. So what else? Messages from them. laying a foundation this person wants to start creating with you okay we have the queen of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn if you guys are an earth sign here okay this person they're feeling as if you're a little bit cold okay this person is really acknowledging the fact that you are very driven in life this is why they want to work with you the way you really zone in, okay, you focus on your earth, on, you know, on your prosperity, there's a little bit of questioning, okay, are you going to love me as I am, with or without abundance, will you love me as I am, this person has an ex here, they compare you a lot to them, this is the issue, a lot of you guys are not feeling fulfilled, or there's some callousness around men or the masculine here. Some of you guys are worried that you're a gold digger. I'm hearing a gold digger, okay? They're worried that they're going to invest in something that will not bring fruition. So let's see what else. Messages from them. 
So you have the Eight of Cups in reverse, you guys. Whoa, this is a long one. A lot of you, both of you guys are really moving through a very, very cosmic energy here. When one person pulls, the other one pushes. Balance, this connection, you guys, it really requires a lot of balance. So the spirit guides, excuse me, your spirit guides are really aligning to bring in some kind of union where both of you heal each other with the Eight of Cups. You Make Me Wanna by Usher. There's a lot of comparing here to their past. And there's also a lot of, you know, memories here from the past. So listen, my loves, compromise. This is going to require a lot of compromise. Your beloved is unsure of themselves and they keep going back to where they were. They're not happy there. You are their guiding light and they know it. Look at this guiding light. They know that you are, you know, the path of divinity, but they cannot get themselves out of their head. Some of you, you're dealing with a twin flame here. Yes. But the karmic, you guys, their karmic is standing in the way, okay? What's your advice? Listen, I'm having a vision here of... A thread that's holding on to your person's ankle there's still shackles here from the past they keep you free them my loves you free this person but there's always something bringing them right back okay so what is your advice here let's see yeah the ten of pentacles in reverse Not everything that glitters is gold. Your ancestors are saying, please put on the brakes with this person. Don't rush it with this person. Please do not rush ahead because you are establishing long term. Okay, you are establishing empires. This connection is nowhere near ready. So even though they're going to hold on to you for stability, the, the advice from the angels, but specifically your ancestors, your main ancestors, do not allow, do not allow someone to take what you've already established, okay? This is about creating boundaries and space. So what is your advice here? We have the seven of wands in reverse. Powerful, yes. This is about letting go of defensiveness. A lot of you guys, okay, So Gone by Monica, yes. There's been a lot of, where have you been? Why haven't you contacted me? Or there's been frustration around this love not moving because some of you are wondering how you can sear this person to safety. A lot of you guys want to bring this person back to shore. They're not allowing you. They're in their storm, you guys. Give this time. The 24th is significant here, okay? Okay, let's move on here. Okay. All right, pile two. Let's see what's going on. Pile two, yes. What's going on with this connection? I'm having a vision here of a, um, a river. It's completely black here, okay? This river is black, but there's a glitter here. I am getting gold specks in the water. Okay, I am having a vision here of gold specks. There's gold in the water. This is about both of you guys searching for your light. There's a golden chalice here. There's a golden opportunity, you guys. This person is coming in unexpectedly. Be a friend or an ally. Listen, wow. 
for a lot of you, this person is going to come in with an offer and you were not expecting it. There's trust issues here, okay? We do have someone who is very untrusting of women or it doesn't matter, gender neutral, the feminine energy is present here. I'm also feeling this person is wise. My spirit guides are saying wise, but they are choosing a different path or they have been choosing a path that is lacking some form of wisdom here. Okay. Pile two. Listen, for me, a water that is very dark, it's very symbolic of a polluted energy around our emotions. Both of you guys have a very, very, very tough time expressing your emotions. Okay. A dark night of the soul, you guys. I can feel it. Yeah, yes. Oh my gosh, you guys. We have alchemy in reverse. A lot of you, your transformation is here. Do you trust me? Your person is asking, do you trust me and can I trust you? This next full moon is very, very symbolic of your connection and it's reflective of union, okay? I am getting some inner child energy here. Your person's father abandoned them, you guys, or there's an abandonment of a parent. There's a missing parent here. This person did not have a solid foundation, okay? And the way the card kind of flew out of my hand, they really want to create alchemy, okay? They really want to transform with you. But I am feeling a big part of this is they are not trusting that they're worthy. This person doesn't feel good enough about themselves. No one gave them the courage as a child through their development years, okay? Through five, excuse me, three to five or five to seven, these are very high peak times of when you instill courage and confidence with your child. They didn't have that, you guys. I am getting a lot of void or a missing, a missing energy around their heart. This isn't easy. There's a lot of grabbing your phone. I am getting someone who is very mistrustful of your whereabouts or someone who is very unsure about your loyalty. My spirit guides are saying, uh, my friend told me, my friend told me, okay? Listen, I want you to work with the stone amber here. Amber will invoke your ancient wisdom so both of you guys can rebuild the bridge that was once broken. We have ground thyself in reverse. Wow, look at Gaia here. Listen, both of you guys are working through your root chakra energy. This is an enormous energy around trust. But within your trust, you have to really put your feet to the ground. Your person is afraid of being grounded. They don't like being in their body, okay? Which is a very symbolic sign of trauma. Okay, this is very common in a lot of children and a lot of adults, okay? Believe it or not, a lot of us are not naturally in our body due to a severe lifestyle here, okay? Especially abandonment will do this. But your person really cares. They are afraid of, of emotional intimacy. There's an avoidance here. I am getting the number eight and nine, so wow, you guys are really working through some karmic energy here. Spiritual journey, spiritual wisdom. We have stress and negativity, great, listen. The reason why I say it's great is because you are both working through something major. Okay, this is huge, you guys. There's a level of leaning on each other during hard times. Both of you guys really care. Both of you guys really feel this love. Okay, so let's see what else. A 
messages from them, you guys. Some of you, this person has a golden retriever or they have a brown dog here that they love. There's loyalty here. This is why there's so many questions. What's that song, you guys? 21 questions. They love to know. Tell me the truth. I'm getting a lot of tell me the truth. What's going on with this person here? You are my person. A lot of you. They have a turtle at home or they have a pet turtle, some of you, or something around having a spirit animal for a, um, <laughs> a turtle. Very ancient, you guys. There's so much wisdom here. Yes. What do, what do they want to say to you? We have one month here. We have, I was never honest about my intentions, dead end. Oh my gosh. Shadow work, major lessons. Okay. Some of you are dealing with the Leo Sag Aries. Okay, let's see here. My spirit guides are showing me limitations and boundaries, okay? I am feeling for a lot of you, there's an outpour of lava. It looks like lava here. And wherever there's lava, it cools and it begins to mold, right? This, this situation really is creating obstacles, you guys. Wow. Some of you, this person there's trust around having a connection with someone else first. There's a lot of grief here. My spirit guide just saying, I saw you first. And I, I'm having a vision of a bluebird here. Both of you guys would benefit from some kind of communication, especially if your person is ready. There's something around communicating. Love and joy, please focus on love and joy. Yes. We have the Five of Pentacles feeling left out in the cold. Feeling love from the outside. This person feels as if you've chosen someone else. I'm getting a lot of, I'm out in the cold, break up to make up energy, and there's a lot of grief around feeling outside of your church. You guys are symbolic of light to this person, or they really see this light in you, and they feel outside of it, as if you are unreachable. There's something about you that they feel as if, you're like, the guiding star, but they can't reach you. You're not tangible. Okay? So, what's going on? How are they feeling about you? You're teaching this person about their resiliency. We have fortunate in reverse. I'm getting some anger here. I'm getting frustration. Why did I meet you? I don't understand what the point is. There's a little bit of some pain around being together. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. They feel as if this is not the right time for both of you. There's frustration around not having enough money. They were recently left out in the cold. Oh my gosh. This person does not have the confidence for you right now, my loves. So let's see what else. How are they feeling with the fortune in reverse? Some of you guys, there's a streak of bad luck here because of their consequences. You guys have met at a very imbalanced time. Let's see here. We have the eight of swords in reverse. 
both of you have a puma okay very powerful puma or a panther here guiding guiding you and also protecting the gates to your connection transmutation my guides are saying transmutation with the eight of swords in reverse messages from them I just can't see you right now We have the Ace of Swords. I'm clear. My mind is clear, or I am clear about us. This person is, I feel like they are very protective of their mind. They're asking if you have done spell work on them because they feel so enamored with you, or they love who you are. They don't know how, how do I get you out of my mind? Lupe Fiasco, it's one of those songs, you guys. Superstar. Wow. For some, this person has a tattoo with their ex. Their ex's name or their zodiac sign here, which is making it complicated. They feel really ashamed about still being in love with someone else or they are holding on to another person right now. Let's see, you guys. I am seeing listen, my loves. I'm seeing a geographical distance as well. Okay, I have to be very honest. Your, your person is not ready. They're not ready for something new. Okay, they're fearful of you. They're still growing through a lot of their maturing process pile too. Listen, for some of you, they're blocking your sight from seeing a child. They have a child here that they have never talked about. For others, there's still a mountain to conquer. There's still an ex here. Also getting a lot of the air here. Both of you guys... Please communicate honestly. This person is really asking for forgiveness. They have not told you the truth about their situation. That's what I'm seeing. Let's get one more. Both of you guys will attend the same school by December. Okay. We have the Three of Pentacles. They really, yeah, this is exactly it, the establishment here. They want to work with you, you guys. They really want to see. They love and admire your determination. But this fear, I'm so afraid to take a leap of faith here. And the three is talking about building together. Platonic, it feels, I have to be, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry, I love you. Your gift is a rose from the divine, okay? Your gift is a rose from the ethers. You will have new love. This person does not want you to wait for them. Let's see what's going on with beginnings. Zero. Yeah, Leo, Sag, Aries. Let's see here. Okay, soulmate, wedding rings. Okay, both of you, listen, some of you guys, either your person is introducing you to their friend, and this is going to be a soulmate with wedding, excuse me, wedding rings. For others, I am feeling this person has to let go of their fear before you work things out. Let's see, you guys. Will you marry me? Yeah. Right now, there's a restriction here with the Ace of Swords. This is about the ethers really, really, really carving a boundary here. There's a serious boundary. Will you marry me? Okay. Redirecting energy. My spirit guides are saying redirecting energy. A lot of you, this person has not valued your time your love so this is a good time to bring in new um, new boundaries and also to start setting limitations 
you are learning your true node okay you're healing a lot of your chiron around love let's see what your advice is for some this person is your long-term partner for others they are going to connect you with someone else okay who will end up being your long-term let's see my loves what is the the advice Okay, we have love in reverse. This is about the Empress, you guys. This is about learning your self-love, okay? A lot of you, this person is teaching you how to love you by leaving or by disconnecting. Both of you guys are teaching each other this wisdom, 11th house. You will be friends before you'll be anything else. Okay. Let's see, what is your advice? I want you guys to work with the color red. Please work with the color red to remind you of your beauty. The number four here. Allow this connection to rest. This means do not pursue, do not push. Don't be the one to lead it, okay? Your person doesn't do well with, with anything that's a, a little bit pushy here. My spirit guides are saying write about your love and bring it into fruition, okay? I love it. Okay, pile three, let's go, let's see. what's going on here okay my guides are saying you have the dragon here they're showing me an ancestral spirit here Both of you guys have the fire element in your favor. There's something around the fire here. You are co-creating with the universe. You're co-creating with the earth. You're manifesting this love. Both of you guys saw each other in passing, whether it's through a train or whether it's through a, um, I'm having a vision of a train here, but it feels as if both of you guys have walked by each other. And there was a lot of chemistry. Love at first sight. Cupid's arrow. Yes. Someone here is a Gemini. I'm also getting Aries or fire, air. What's happening here? We have let love enter. Some of you guys, you're waiting for your person to cross the bridge, okay? You're waiting for this person to meet you halfway. So I'm not needing to cross the bridge here. Okay. The feminine in this connection, you're either pregnant right now and you're waiting for answers or there's some kind of structure, home. You want home with this person or you have a home, okay? Some of you guys rushed into this. So this was someone that you saw and it was very fast moving. Both of you guys needed a home or there's something around connecting very quickly. This doesn't feel, with the number, uh, the number frequency here, it doesn't feel as if it's super loved based. It feels as if both of you guys have circumstances or you had it, okay? Let's see, wow. Divine union, mind, body, spirit. A lot of you guys have an ascended master here. Let's walk in your path with you. 
This ascended master wears a purple robe, you guys. So you're learning how to bring in a higher consciousness or some kind of fruition of a different perspective around love. Whenever I see trains, I do have follow the leader here. Whenever I see trains, you guys, or I see um, a form of movement, this is about travel or moving the connection forward. Okay? Both of you are on opposite ends. So we have follow the leader here. is about enlightenment and clearing your karma together your person is a visionary they're very powerful and so are you a lot of you are into divination your tarot readers your spiritualists and your person knows how to command the air element along with the birds so they're very connected to the earth they're shamans someone here is a shaman You know what they have not told you is you remind them of the sun. There's sweet surrender here in reverse. There's a hidden hidden message around the full moon, you guys. This person has not been able to be very honest with you. They have not been honest with you about their truest feelings. Something about the speed of this connection put a lot of tension or some of you guys are really waiting for this person to show you that they love you. You're, you're asking, what's next? Are you going to show me that you love me or do you care? Okay, so let's see you guys. Owl. You guys, there's an owl here sitting in between the pillars for both of you. We have, I can't take my eyes off of you. Yes. This is what captivated both of you guys upon meeting your eyes. There's a reflection of the water here. Your eyes heal. You guys have healing eyes and they want you to know that. Okay. This person's very masculine. Your beloved here. Wow. They're saying, I want you to follow my lead. Okay. This is someone who has always been a leader in their environment, or they are asking you to kind of take it a little bit slow. There's a fear of you controlling. So let's see here. Messages from them. This person wears a black ring or a black bracelet. I am getting a lot of conversation. They're really good at debating the communication here. They, they really know how to get their way. I watch your social media often. I love who you are. Yes. <laughs> I love that. Let's see what else. I am distant because I fear your love. Yes. Your person lear excuse me, learned how to grow their, their plants or their roots on their own, you guys. This person has, you know, I am having a vision them, of them as a child. They've really, they have grown plants from their hands. They're really embracing the earth on their own. So they have not had much guidance here. This person loves to plant, you guys. They love to garden or they want to garden here for you. They want to, um, something about a rose. They really want to write poetry about you. They're very gentle inside, but on the outside, they're very masculine, okay? Or a feminine, doesn't matter. I'm getting someone who's really in charge here. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, okay. 
some of you that is a third party here let's see i can't take this whoa i can't keep my eyes off of you new moon ritual twice this person's coming towards you around the new moon okay i do feel there's a need to trust if you are dealing with someone that you're living with you guys this person really loves who you are but they're tempted by a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. There's someone else that they're tempted by here. There's temptation here. Listen, this owl is a reminder of devotion and a reminder of scriptures. Your love is not light. Okay, there's nothing light about this connection. This is very ancient. But trust. This person is asking for trust. But I have to be very honest. There's a duality here. You're in separation, my loves. Two different homes. They're very, very, very tempted by an ex here, okay? I feel what they're saying is they want to trust themselves more. This is what they're really saying. General theme here. Let's see. Yeah, you guys. We have death in reverse. I'm still holding on to you. Don't leave by Ashanti. Listen, death in reverse. This is inevitable, you guys. When we have death in reverse, it talks about holding on to what is already in motion. We're trying to hold on to the pieces, you know, those pieces within ourselves that are already, you know, forming a new path for ourselves. General theme here. let go or be dragged the act of surrender okay the universe has a plan here we have the knight of cups in reverse this person may have told you i need you to trust me but what they're saying is i really wish i can trust myself more i don't really know why i'm behaving this way so this is what they are saying when they tell you I want you to trust me, although there's deception here, or there's infidelity. The Nine of Cups in reverse. I'm all cried out. This is very physical, you guys. They love the physicality or the thought of, the illusion of uh, intimate connection, but it's poured out. There's an excess here. Wow. Some of you have something about I have to be very honest listen who has given in more than once you guys this person I have to be very real here they are the type to collect the cups okay they do keep a little black book something is overdone here for them let's see general how do they feel? Are messages from them? Yeah. I love you. I'm so sorry. Your person has not done this the right way with you. There's a lot of ego or cruelty because of what they've been through. This person has not told you how they really feel or they pulled a fast one. There's an inconsideration around their heart. I have to be very frank here. There's cruelty here, you guys. But listen, they, they want forgiveness. Something did not go their way. They thought they were going to get away with something, and it did not go their way. Let's uh, get a little clarifier for the Five of Swords here. Let's see. 
This person likes to wear a lot of black shoes. Something about black, you guys, transmutation. They're really ending a major cycle in their life, and you are their lesson. A lot of you, you teach your, your, you teach your masculines or you teach your beloveds, okay, your feminines. Do you feel the same? Full moon secrets. This person was under the impression that you did not feel the same. This is why they did it. Learning experiences. I can't make this up. You are teaching this person how to respect you. And how to respect other people and love. How do they feel? Wow, you guys, webs. There's something that they do in terms of ritual. I have to be very honest. I am seeing a, like a thread or they do something to keep you bound to them. How do they feel? Let's see here. Yeah, you guys, something was recently discovered here. Okay, with the Seven of Swords in reverse. They were being very deceptive. This is what hurts. Caught red-handed, or there's something here around being caught with dishonesty. Either you guys saw this on their phone, or there's a level of, I really have to be honest, this person's coming clean, you guys. They want a second chance. This is why I'm getting the death card. They want to resurrect this. Wow. Messages from them. How do they really feel? There's a purity about you. I'm having a vision of a white candle here. There's something very pure about you, and they really want you in their life, you guys. You hold a lantern in a, in a very dark space for them. How do they feel? The Knight of Cups. They love talking about love with you, but the act of grounding it, or what I call, you know, sobering. Sobering this love. It is very challenging for this person. They're saying, I really want to come in with a new offer. Do you forgive me? But I am feeling a lot of this is also around heightened emotions, sexual energy, but their feet are not on the ground, you guys. Messages from them. The secrets are out. The mystery of your love. Listen, this per somebody here is uh, into spell work. I am getting a lot of unwritten messages here. Pay attention to your dreams, you guys. I want you to pay attention to your dreams. There's a prophecy to this love. Some of you have had a dream of a black snake or a serpent, something black here that's symbolic to them. Okay. There's wisdom here being exposed, you guys. Please pay attention. There is a Pisces who is going to share their story with you, or they're going to tell you a little bit about what they know of your person. But if you're already living with them, you guys, there are secrets that are coming out into the light here. Wow. Can I trust you with my secrets? Your person is saying, can I trust you? I no longer want to hide who I am, okay? 
but also discovering what it's like to be more upfront and honest. This is what you do to them. You make them want to be very honest with you. So we have the two of wands in reverse. Okay. This is about feeling, you guys. They're really manifesting you. There's more of a manifestation here than anything else. This is about the feeling. I do see a conversation around the fifth. This person is going to contact you around the fifth here. The number five is prominent or the 25th. So what's your advice? Let's see here. There's a lot of tears here. We have a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. I want to have children with you. What's the advice, you guys? Your person, your beloved. This person is really working from a place of what they know. It doesn't feel mature yet. does not feel mature yet. Okay. Here's your advice. Listen, the Six of Swords here, very much around moving towards peace, finding a peaceful place for you. This person is causing a little bit of chaos, you guys. Girl, I am getting so much drama here. They mean well, but their instability or their excuse me, their inability to really find their stability or their center is causing a problem here, okay? There's love, there's love, but they're learning. I do see travel for you. Your advice is to move on to something calmer. Keep yourself calm, you guys. Okay, don't be afraid of traveling during this time. Give yourselves a break from this connection. And the Page of Cups in reverse. Don't forget your innocence, you guys. Also, don't forget to dream, okay? This is also about holding space for yourself. This is a very independent combination. Don't be afraid to say, I'm holding on to myself for now. I cannot meet you halfway. This is not what I want right now. Don't allow yourself to sink, okay? You have the guiding stars. A lot of you have all the guiding stars here. They're reminding you that you are galactic just as much as they are. You're a guide just as much as the angels are. And they're also guiding you towards your future. Please do not accept an offer that is disrespectful or that is coming in from a place of uh, short term or this person admitting to being a potential. Let's potentially grow together. This is about asserting yourself a little bit more, okay? In a very kind way. Know who you are. In love, don't be afraid to look away. Okay? I love you. Bye.